Hello again, lovely people. I know I said I was going on hiatus and the project was on halt, but I think I gave the wrong impression and not at the time. I was feeling that, yes, I may be away for weeks on end. But then I saw, I won't call it disappointment, but the unsettlingness of everybody because, yes, we've been going gun ho on this project for quite a while now, and a lot of you, like I explained in my previous video, are building Nova along with me, so... It started to bother me. <laughs> there was some discussion and people were going forward with working on a remote control, which, yeah, I'm, it looks good, but for any of you who know me by now, I'm pretty particular about what I want to do with this project. It's completely open source, guys. You guys want to take any of my code, any of my plastic designs or updates or hardware or schematics, any of it, all welcome to. I just ask one thing, if you're going to change things, take it in a different direction, please don't attach Nova SM number to your project. You can call it a clone of, or a, a side project of, but yeah, that, that I want to hold near and dear to my heart. Um, if you go back to my previous videos, I explain where the name came from, really how this project started, and... Um, I'm in my 50s, guys. I have three grown children who any day now will probably start pumping out their own children. And one day, things like this, I look forward to handing to my grandchildren. I'm not a rich man, so I won't be leaving them fortunes behind. So anything I can will, will be near and dear to my heart. So anyway, that being said, let's move on. As you can see here beneath me, Yes, I, the, the talk of the remote and prior to me putting the project on halt, I did mention that a remote was next on our list. So, <clears throat> you guys, um, sorry, I just wanted to grab something here. This is a remote that I did for my robot arm uh, two years ago, probably, when I built that guy. But I reprinted a case for it and popped it in this cool case, controlling its six servo motors. As you can see, this is kind of sorry stepper motors this is sort of the arm itself so you actually control the joint that the potentiometer is in position to control so anyhow this is what i don't want to do for nova and the couple of remotes I, i've seen out there especially um there's a gentleman go, going by the name of mano he has contributed his his project to the project and that's really the direction everybody was going in. And again, yeah, not crazy about square case. So Chris spent a little time, a little get some of my sanity back time, guys. So don't feel that I'm pushing myself to go beyond what I said I was going to do. Uh, just one last note about all that. It really just is about life stress, right? We all go through it. We all get overwhelmed sometimes. Our shoulders feel so heavy that we can't do another damn thing. Well, that's how I was feeling a week ago. Thankfully, friends and family stepped up and, and recognized this with me and have been helping. And then things have smoothed out enough that, I, yes, I'm going to be able to put a little bit of time into this. But safe to say, don't expect the number of videos I was pumping out for the past few months. All right. Three minutes into it, I haven't yet talked about this coolness sitting below me here. So, yes, I've been playing around with a remote design. Ignore my crappy quality plastic. As you can tell, I print with 0.4 layer height and, and extremely ugly fill. So they come out looking ugly and flimsy, but that's the safe plastic. Um, so that's the bottom half. And then the top half is here, which I'll show you a little better in a second, how it'll go together pretty well. It should. Let's just talk about the hardware really quick. So starting at batteries, most likely not going to be able to use anything less than a 5 volt battery because I don't believe in stepping up voltage to power things. And our Nano wants 5 volts and then some. So I'm going to go with my usual 7.4 batteries <coughs> and my usual 5 volt regulator to power the Nano. Now we have a second problem with this project is the NRF module uh, doesn't like... 5 volt, so we have to give it 3.3 so we have to provide a regulator for that from the direct power source because it's very particular and open to interference in the communication lines if you try and tap off the 3.3 line of your microcontroller so we will not be doing that we'll give it, it give it its direct power source so we'll have no problems there uh, side note i already have 
Nano and Teensy connected on a breadboard with their NRF, NRF modules installed, and I have two-way communication going on. And the benefit there is going to come to the displays, I think, and probably not much else. But we'll be able to, like, display the battery voltage of Nova on here because I'll be able to send that data to the remote and as well as sending the remote commands to Nova. So two-way communication is very important. So we'll have that. And then I've just laid out a few components on what we may do and most likely do. So these four buttons here will be on the top end here. And then again, I'll pick this up in a second. And then probably a couple of mode switches. These are two pole, uh, two throw, if we need it to change modes between things. And then a main power button, all will go on top, I think. Um, I have decided I'm going to use two displays. Maybe when I wire it and start seeing that it's going to be tight, I may not. But right now we will. One will be for graphical displays and then one will be for such things as displaying the voltage or the current speed settings and things like that. And then I am going to go with slide potentiometers. I, I completely prefer those over dial potentiometers, although dial potentiometers can be better made, better accuracy, etc. These will do for what we probably will use them for, which will be uh, setting constant speed or constant step, step hype or stride or, or something to that effect. Um, if we don't, if I don't come up with the ideas for four of them, I'll probably just put two. Or if I come up with more ideas, we have room to put three or four on either side if we want to. And then the obvious, the joysticks will go right here. Again, I am going to use these Adafruit ones. Uh, you're free to use the other modules. I actually think their circuit board is even smaller. So whatever I do here, you should be able to adapt it for those. Uh, you can see it is going to fit. I'm just going to have to, for a lot of these components, I'm going to have to rework the plastic to provide mounts for them because this board has to sur sit a certain distance away from the surface of this. So it'll probably have its own built-in standoffs or we'll use metal standoffs not sure yet but anyway and then we'll have you know I figure maybe three big buttons here for mode start and stop and then two more auxiliary buttons if not four more auxiliary buttons for other things so that should probably give us all the controls that we need I mean that's providing more controls than the PS2 does um, just a couple of extra switches and especially the slide potentiometers. So we should have what we need to, to pull it off. Okay, so now let's get all this hardware off of here. Yes, I abuse my LCD screens. <laughs> They're difficult to scratch and I'm not really worried about little scratches right now, guys. Okay, so anyhow, this is the bottom half, which this is meant to house the battery which yes i already have a little tweak to make the wiring doesn't quite fit in there correctly but the battery does and we'll probably end up shortening these batteries and probably exposing the charge part of it through there so we'll work on that and the handles will be pretty empty so i may actually even install the nano in one and then the nrf in the other because the only thing that's going to be in here are the switches at the top of those holes, so they won't even come down but that much. So we'll have pretty good cavities there to put pieces of hardware. And then if we flip the top over, we have this monster cavity to pretty much put majority of electronics. And then again, like I showed, these guys will have to go here, but mounted a little bit higher, so I probably will have adjusting to go. The remote may get a little thicker if I don't quite have the room that I need to install such hardware as this, because it's going to have to install like that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's going to have to be off. So it may actually be right in line with that. We'll see. But then, yeah, I'll install, once I've finished all the hardware design and such, I'll then put some um, embedded nuts and supporting plastic for them, and then appropriate holes. And then it should just go together like that, guys. With a few screws in the back. And yes, obviously it's kind of modeled off of the PS2 remote, but kind of not. It kind of looks like Batman symbol, but kind of not. <laughs> That'll probably change. But I think it's pretty comfortable like this, so. It's going to be pretty cool. So yeah, stay tuned. I can't tell you when the next progress will be. I'm probably going to jump to software and work on that a little bit more now that... The hardware is kind of specked out. Sorry about that, guys. Had a little camera mishap. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to wrap this up. Can't tell you how um, 
fast that'll happen but definitely stay tuned like share and subscribe and the next video will be coming probably within a week or so i may not progress much further on this i have a couple other projects going on as well that i need to pay attention to uh, outside of the hobby world so yeah as i make progress i will post videos and a couple of you on discord have offered to help me out with coding and and if there's anybody out there who wants to play around with plastic let me know and i'll reach out to you guys as well for support and help appreciate everything guys uh stay well stay happy and stay loving your friends and family talk to you all soon thanks